Good morning. So here today we are going to do bending test on the wooden beam. It can be done in the steel beam as well, but here first we are going to do for the wooden beam. So for that we need a loading pan, the weights, two nitric support, a graduated scale, a wooden specimen, and a machining scale. Now uh, the principle behind this is that when we apply a concentrated load at the midpoint in a simply supported beam, the deflection is given by the formula. Delta is equal to W L cube by 48 EI, where W is the load, L is the span, E is the Young's modulus of elasticity and I is the moment of inertia. I is given by the formula BD cube by 12, where B is the width of the beam and D is the depth of the beam, which can be measured using a scale. Now from here we will get the moment of inertia. After that, we have to fix the span of the beam. Let us take the span to be 1 meters. Mark the midpoint as well. After that, insert the loading pan. In the midpoint, it has a pointer. And keep the wooden beam. Make sure that the 1 meter is measured from the center of the supports. In order to find the modulus of elasticity of this beam, we have to rearrange this equation. So E is equal to W L cube by 48 del delta I. So for getting W by delta, we have to conduct this deflection test. So for that, keep the Graduated scale, make the point to zero. And now we can apply the load. First, one kilogram is loaded. Measure the deflection. Now increment the load by two kilogram. So the total weight becomes three kilogram. Measure the deflection. Again incremented by 2 kg. So the total weight becomes 5 kg. And measure the deflection. Now we can unload it. First, the reverse procedure is followed. The first, the 2 kg is taken. Again measure the deflection. Now the 2 kg is taken. And the deflection is measured. Again, remove the balance 1 kilogram and the deflection becomes 0. After getting these values, we can plot a graph between load and deflection. It will be a straight line graph. The slope of the graph will give us the value for W by delta. So we can substitute this in the equation and get the modulus of elasticity. Done for the central loading. We can do it for non-central non loading as well. So there the formula of deflection changes to delta is equal to W A square B square by 3 E I L. So for that we can take a convenient span. And measure the deflection. And this span is A and this span is B. We can also verify Clark Maxwell's law of reciprocal deflection. 
So the theorem states that when a load is applied at A and the deflection at B is measured and when the load is applied at B and the deflection is measured at A these two deflections must be equal that is low deflection at B due to the load at A and deflection at A due to the load at B must be equal. This can be verified by using, uh, by taking the span that is the mid span. Here we know the deflection uh, value that is delta is equal to WLQ by 48 EI. And when coming to the quarter span, the equation for deflection is W 11 WL cube by 768 EI. So from here, when the load is applied at quarter span, we can measure the deflection at mid span and vice versa and verify our theorem. Thank you.